you run a studio. You're in a genre that is dangerous or could be yeah. dangerous. How do you maintain a safe studio environment for us uh, people who want to run studios? I mean, a modern security system. What you can see is uh, our camera system. I can see everything around and in the building. And uh, just, you know, being aware of your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? Like, absolutely. don't just blindly move about your day. Like, pay attention. Take different routes once in a while. If you have a known route that you go. And okay, just yeah. Take your head. Don't okay, get dumb. Okay. Okay, okay. And here's another question. Because in this genre, like, let me ask you this. Does being white in this genre make people question or have someone ever question your ability? I mean, maybe early on, but it's like okay. my body of work speaks for me at this point, And I'm well known yeah. enough at this point that pretty much everybody, especially in Detroit, he knows who the fuck I am and what I'm about. So I'm taking it seriously. But yeah, like back it. when I was first getting started, oh, white boy, me, Detroit, bees, blah, 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 man. Fuck that. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, okay. Fuck. I'm still going to do what I do. I like that. Just work. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you got one leg, a fucking half an eyeball. Just wow. fucking work. You know, it's, and then there's a producer out there. He's actually in a wheelchair. He's like, I don't know what disability he has, but he has really, he's really small. He's making fucking fire. His name is a mini, produ mini producer. Really small guy in a wheelchair. Mini fire. producer? Mini producer, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. how you leverage your social media right there. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> We all got something unique about ourselves. 